Last hunting season, I found a very large scrape right here, size of a car hood. And I came back here to put a camera on, and there's zero sign. But I'm going to go ahead and set the trail camera up anyway. I think I'm going to find a tree that's not going to sway too much in the wind. And just let it sit here all year. I'm, I probably won't hunt it. Unless exactly the right conditions exist. Going that way is a large expanse of land where there aren't very many logging roads. There aren't really any for at least a mile. There's an old logging road right here. Oh, there's a fresh pile of shit right there. Big one. That's what I like to see. Okay, they're still walking through here. There's an old one that, that's pretty much overgrown, heading in that direction, and that way is a clear cut. Then there was also a real nice path along this ridge. It looks like it's been... Oh, there it is right there. You can kind of see it in there. So there's like an intersection right here. And... There's a the path I came in on. I want to go back that way and then hunt this only on a northeast wind. And I want to pick a tree here that's on the other side of the ridge so that when the thermals kick in, it drops this way. That might be the tree right there to sit in. Maybe that little one right next door. Now that's my shooting hand, so that won't work. And that's pretty big. Right, I also got to figure out where am I going to go with the trail camera. Yeah, I'm not even 10 yards from that where that scrape was. I'm going to clean that all out to encourage him to come back. Alright, I got to walk around and think about this. This setup has become quite elaborate. You can see the stand in the background there. I piled up all this brush. There was a big snow last winter and broke off a lot of the dead branches and things around here. And I piled it up so that they would be directed away from these little stand of hemlock. And I got a little trail there and then there's another one that comes in from the bottom. Comes up to here. And when they come this way even on the other side, I've got a block they can't go around. I mean, they can, they can jump and everything, but if they're just cruising and they're coming to this scrape, they're coming right down this area right here, and I'm just 10 feet from them. And the best part about this is, at night, the thermals drop, and this tree here is on the other side of the ridge. So I expect those thermals to drop. There's like a little trough right here. I expect them to drop off out of the way towards the southwest. This is a northeast setup. Okay, now I came in through the logging road right here, and the uh, loggers are actually looks like they might be logging this winter or soon. When you start seeing painted trees, something's gonna happen. I'm not sure what red means, but there's a number of them that are painted white or either red or blue. There's another one over there on that hemlock, another red mark on that hemlock over there. So if that means that's the boundary, or I don't know. I should research that, right? I'm gonna be in the woods a lot. I gotta start learning this stuff. But anyways, the thermal's dropping that way. I came in on this logging road, and that's where you can see where the loggers had made their paint marks along here. But I want to come in from this trough here. So I'm gonna walk. I'm, I'm gonna kind of skirt around these down balsams and get down into that valley and walk back to the car that way. You know, maybe I'll get I'll get back to the logging road where it, there's a high point to it. Maybe I'll get on the other side of that high point and then go down, go back. I'm gonna figure that out now. That's next. So that's only two. That's not even two. I mean, I could do it with one stick, but two sticks makes it comfortable. I put this bigger broken down limb here so that it would cover me partially from. You can see. From the scrape, the stand is where I'm going to be sitting on a stand. When my legs come down, that limb is going to partially break up my outline. I think that's going to help. 
And then there you can see the trail camera. I didn't turn it on yet. But that's actually a dead tree, so it's not going to sway around in the wind. I mean, I hardly had to do anything with limbs. It was just everything was natural here. Probably should. There's a couple of them up on top there I should try to break. Some dead, dead little bitty branches. Just enough to deflect an arrow. So I'm glad I'm studying this a little more. And I tied these two branches together to one up above. Otherwise, these were in a way of shooting too. So they're just tied together. A paracord. That puts them up out of the way. And right here is the scrape. I cleaned it out, got all the branches out of the way. These are the branches they were rubbing their glands on. See, they had broke off a couple of old ones here. And last year, I turned up a couple of these. Sassfrass upside down so something comes along they see the, the white sides. Okay, well what's wrong? We're gonna come over here and investigate this. There's also a, a nice scrape down mm, tenth of a mile or so. There's another blue stripe right there. Tenth of a mile down this road and then down and there was a, a smaller scrape down in there. And when I actually was hunting this with a bow in uh, late October, I think it was. Um, I, I, something walked away from me down there. So, if it was a doe or a buck, I don't know, I didn't see it. But I think this is the one that they cruise. An old logging road that's overgrown. I can see the path goes around. I'm not even walking there. And it kind of curls around. That's where I think they're going to come from. So we'll see. That's a heck of a hemlock right there. I got a blue mark on that too. Maybe this is the corner and they aren't cutting that way <laughs> where I'm coming in. But they're going to do something. I don't know what they're going to do. We'll see. So that's the setup. So I'm going to definitely wait until a rut before I come in here. I am going to hunt it. And then I'll pull a card and see if any what's been coming through here. September 11th today. So I won't be here for six weeks to hunt it. So six weeks for everything to calm down is plenty. Plus you know, these bucks drive, run around so much they got so many miles that they cover. There might not be any deer coming through here for until you know hunting season starts and they get a little pressure. Because this is back in there. And this is all... You know, growing up, there's no food back here, so this all this is is going to be an area to hide during the day. And here I am. I'm all set up for it. Whap! i got to remember to get those little branches out of there. I'll just use another stick and hit them. And here the stand is on the entrance side. I could get by with one stick if I wanted to, but... If I use two sticks and put the cable aiders, leave them up like this, then it's a little more less risky because when you put your foot in here, sometimes you can scrape your, your toe on here a little bit. So I, I, I pretty much mastered it, but why? I'm going to take two off anyways because I'm carrying two. But that's not even six feet high. But it's probably... 12 feet high concerning where the scrape is. I love building these things. I like building these things. I might even be getting better at it. <laughs> All right. Put it back together and get on out of here. I've been wanting to do this since I found it. Not quite a year ago. Found a thermal hub here on my way out. I'm looking for a better way out and in to that stand setup I just made. And this, I believe, is a thermal hub. There's a really good trail here that's used, fresh. And you see there's low coming in here. There's low coming in here. Then here's a high. There's low coming in here. It goes up to high. 
And here just looks like an old creek bottom or something coming through here. Or just a, or just a, some sort of a creek a runoff when it's raining heavy. You can see the fresh tracks. I don't see anything big, but um, this is going to be requiring a different kind of a setup. And my trail camera didn't work. I couldn't get it to work, so I didn't set it up. And I dropped it in water yesterday. I probably wrecked another one. But um, I'm going to follow it. This is heading towards the car, towards the entrance into here. Just gonna keep going along here, man. There's a, gotta be a decent setup here. You now, how to get in here is a question. Plane of thermals, and we come in from that way. Maybe it's better coming in from this way, because that's parking. Hmm. Looks clear, too. Those are probably fresh breaks from last winter when we had that heavy snow. That tree there's got pretty good shooting right to the trail. Poplar doesn't really have it. That maple there, break it up high enough. This one even has a split on it. It's got another one here, a little bit cover, you know. Just something to break my outline up if I hunt that way. See, here's another old trail right here coming in here. This, this one is probably one day we're using and it got blocked off by that tree. Now they're using that one heavy. Oh, interesting. Just right there, right there. Well, let's follow that trail. Might come and investigate this in the winter if they don't clear cut it all. There's fresh stuff right kicked up all over the top of this. You know, a little print that looks pretty big. There's another one here. The night trail camera doesn't work. All right, brave little critter. He's not even 10 feet from me. He doesn't know what the heck I am. Hey. <laughs> Back to the car. Somebody drove past. I heard him. I didn't think it was down this road though, it was kind of far away. You see one over my track here. That was a 4x4 or four, four wheeler. 4x4. Four four. Side by side. This is the berry patch with larger berries. I didn't even bring a cup. 
I'm just going to eat. <laughs> These are wild blackberries. Mmm. Wow. It's noon and I haven't even ate anything yet. There's a lot. I should have brought a cup. Well, maybe I'll just eat berries today and that's it. I'm putting this camera down. There's a pretty good patch here. I'm going to eat them all. Something moving through the ferns. Oh. There it is. See it? Ooh, I see it. 